everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with a brand new wwe figure review on the brand new wwe superstar series one bray wyatt rick flair and honky tonk man figures now this is a set and a series that i'm very very excited about moving forward i am missing hollywood hogan from this set i found these at my local walmart i think they are hitting walmart area so definitely go check your walmart they are hitting i didn't find them in the wrestling section though it's like they're putting them in awkward sections like they've been all over the place every time i find these figures they they're in a different location, so you got to check all over the aisle, check the end caps, check everywhere, because these guys are a very nice set. I'm excited for this line. I think these this line right here is better than the retro line that we got. I love the accessories. I love how they look on card. So much so that I'm actually going to try and complete these things, men on card and loose, and we're going to see if that is going to be plausible, but they look sick, man. I, I love the way all three of them look here. Ric Flair and Honky Tonk Man are actually unpunched, but their cards are still pretty heavily damaged, so not going to leave any of these guys men on card here. I'm still going to look for my men on card set, but I do have my Lucy's right here. So we do have our loose set here in Bray Wyatt, Ric Flair, and Honky Tonk Man. These guys are not cheap, though. These, are, like, I thought, oh, they're going to be like 12 to 16 bucks. They ring up at around 21 bucks, man. $20 and 90 something cents. And that blew my damn mind. I did not expect that whatsoever. I mean, they're sick figures. I love their accessories. You got some great stuff going on with them. That just blew my damn mind, man. But you guys can see here Bray Wyatt, Ric Flair, Honky Tonk Man. I do want to bring them up one by one here so we can kind of get the full deal here very weird bray wyatt figure like the attire that they went with here no longer with the company at least we don't think so includes hat and jacket bray wyatt got a nice cartoon background got wwe superstars across the top on the back you get a really classic style of a packaging yowie wowie welcome to the firefly funhouse firefly funhouse bray wyatt here rest of the figures in the wave still in the hunt for the hollywood hulk hogan i think he's shipping alone so maybe he'll pop up sooner or later but there is bray wyatt here is our rick flair figure that i'm excited about on the back you get, you know, your nature boy. You get some stuff going on. Rest of the figures in the wave again. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. And then on the, the Honky Tonk Man right here, you get the beautiful image of him. You got him there. Includes entrance jumpsuit. And then on the back, you get the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. I'm cool. I'm cocky. I'm bad. Shake, rattle, and roll. Honky Tonk Man. And all the good stuff. But that pretty much wraps up the packaging and the prelapse before we get into these figures right here, man. But with all that being said, man, let's crack open the WWE Superstars line and find out if they are as good as they appear. So here's Honky Tonk Man, Bray Wyatt, and Ric Flair out of their packaging. I actually sliced my finger open trying to get this open. It was actually my fault. It's not something to do with the packaging. I had my X-Acto knife trying to get the thing, and I just sliced my finger, man. So sometimes that happens. Be careful when you're doing that, man. But here they are. I'm really enjoying these figures. I was a bit shocked by some stuff that we've seen, and we're going to get into all of that, of course. But how we're going to do these with the Superstars figures, since we are going to be getting a bunch of them, I imagine, at least if we can keep this line going in sorts. You know, we have Series 2 and 3. I think already in the works so this should be really fun man but what we're gonna do is we're gonna just roll one by one by one so I'm gonna go with Bray Wyatt I'm gonna cover everything about Bray Wyatt move on and then move on and then wrap it all up into a nice little bow so with that being said man let's dive into Bray Wyatt first and then we'll continue through the set until we wrap up every figure here that we have to review today all right man so getting into Bray Wyatt I, I like this a lot man I like that you get the removable cap right there he actually comes with quite a few accessories I might add so you guys will notice here they come with every single one of them comes with this little plastic baggie behind the carding and it has the open heel and hurt hands and then it has fisted you know bare hands that don't have gloves on it and then he also comes with mic holding hands and i'm pretty sure these are the exact same elite figure hands that we've seen with his fiend elite so that's pretty crazy there he also comes with this six trench coat and i think this is really what makes the superstars line so cool is that all these i think every figure comes with some cloth accessories so that's probably why it has the price point that it does but it's got like this nice little hook here the cloth goods is just exceptional and i don't know if you could put these on elites or what the case is i'm sure you could probably make it work but it has like this faux leather around the top it's kind of what he wears as the fiend right this is like his fiend entrance you know trench coat type deal kind of similar you know it's got the rolls on the cuffs right there and i'm gonna be real with you man i am not taking this off the figure it's like this little bow tie here just because i'm afraid i, I don't want to ruin it but i love the head sculpt on this bray white i think it looks just like him they are oversized so you can't really put it on an elite or anything but i love all the tattoo details 
detail that you're getting right here. Very plain Jane on the tights. You know, it's just the regular navy pants. No, like, belt buckle or anything. I think it would have done it well if it had, you know, a belt on there or something like that. I also noticed that, like, his torso is kind of... He kind of has a wobble to him. Not terrible, but he does have his signature Bray Wyatt boots. These figures are just really cool, man. I, I, I enjoy these. I hope to have, like, a full display of these guys someday on a shelf, you know, with all their accessories kind of displaying them there. And then to have the men on card set would be re really beautiful to see as well. We'll see how that goes, but the $21 price point is pretty annoying, but at the same time, I, I love this. I think this Bray Wyatt's fantastic, and I'm having a ton of fun just posing them around. And just to give you guys kind of the gist of the articulation, you get a little bit of a head nod there. It's on a ball joint or like a ball peg. It's not really on a joint, so you can't really, you know, articulate it. They do come off really easy, though, so, you know, you can just pop that off like that. I guess I can remove the, the necktie there, so there's that. Uh, you even get the neck tattoos up in there. You know, this goes up to 90 degrees. You do get the full rotation there. You get the single jointed arm. You do get the waist swivel. You get the ball joints here for the splitsies. He can kick forward pretty good. He's got the single jointed knee, and then he does have ankle pivot there. Again, just really enjoyable little mini figures, man. I like these a lot, and I like them better than retros. They're really cool. I think this Bray Wyatt's actually pretty underrated now, and I bet if you wanted to, you probably could do surgery on these guys, which would make them even more badass, but at the $21 price point, I think I'm just going to stick with the one. Now, next up in the set, we have Elvis Presley here, and Honky Tonk Man has a very nice head sculpt as well. I just, I, I I don't know. The more I'm reviewing these figures, the more I just love them, man. They're, they're awesome. I love this jumpsuit that he's got going in this, like, navy and red colorway. What I'm uh, pretty afraid of, though, is pulling it off uh, because he has, like, this handkerchief here that once I take this off, man, am I ever going to get that back in there the way that it's supposed to be done? Probably not. But he does come with his red handkerchief slash scarf, which is pretty cool. And then you have the jumpsuit, like I said. And I don't know the best way to pull this off, to be honest with you, but I know once I pull this off, it will never fit him the same again. But at least I'll have the men on card version, so that'll be cool. But it is cool that they added the detail. Now, if this was like Jax back in the day, bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you, you'd have pulled this thing off and he'd have had the ugliest damn gear underneath here that you've ever seen. But I love the cartoony style of these figures. I love how they're all jacked as hell. I'm gonna pull the jumpsuit off right here. Now, this jumpsuit's too small to fit an Elite, but it's still so badass man this line is so cool I, I like oh my god these are awesome these are kind of what i wanted the uh what were those things called you guys remember i did like a whole review of a box set what are those things called like the forgotten legends or something like that something like that but anyways man you guys can see he even has the light blue gear underneath probably his best gear it's got memphis on the butt cheeks you got the guitars going around the music notes very sick figures man you got the white wrist tape probably my least favorite of the three but at the same time man honky tonk's looking jack baby looking real jack look at that looking like Johnny Bravo over here. But I forgot to mention, not only does he come with the jumpsuit and the handkerchief, he also comes with interchangeable hands. So you get the open hands, you get the fists, you get the guitar holding hands, and you get a breakaway guitar. And this is the exact same mold as the Elite breakaway guitar, but it's in a red cartoony looking, you know, way, but it can break apart just like every other Mattel guitar, as you guys can see. So that is cool, man. Really sick. Again, I'm gonna put it, oh, okay. I'm gonna put him in the jumpsuit and then have him hold the guitar on display probably. Uh, if I ever found one on clearance or something, I might pick another one up just to display without the jumpsuit. Uh, same thing for Ric Flair, you know, or Bray Wyatt with, with and without the accessories, but that'll that'll probably never happen. But, you know, if I found a deal and I, I could strike gold, I'd probably do that. But these figures are sick as hell. Now, getting into Ric Flair, he probably has my least favorite of the head sculpts or the three that we're getting in this video today. I really wish they would have gave him a wooing head sculpt. I think that would have done a lot better for Rick, to be honest with you. But you do get his beautiful robe right here, and it's got Ric Flair on the back, iconic red and silver robe. Very cool stuff going on. I think this is sick. Again, once I undo this, I'll never get it back on the figure again, but the, the cloth accessories are just so sick. I understand why these are $21 now. Like, I get it, but underneath, man, he's looking real jacked. Again, I love, like, the over-exaggeration here, but you do get the, the red trunks, red knee pads, and red boots. You got, you know, your Ric Flair logos and stuff. Just a classic style Ric Flair, man. He's looking good. Again, the head pops off. Same articulation as Bray Wyatt as we covered, but Ric Flair's looking pretty good, man. I think the Bray Wyatt figure is super underrated, to be honest with you. I think it's sick. I have a little damage right there on the titty. Kind of upset about that, but the robe is sick as hell, but he also comes with interchangeable hands, and he gets the wide-open grabby hands. Mm. You get the fists, and then you get the weapon slash mic holding hands, and he also comes with a microphone, and I'm pretty sure this is a Mattel Elite microphone. It's got the modern WWE logo on there. Not the biggest deal there, but, you know, you can just, you know, firmly grasp it. Mm. 
I don't mind him coming with a mic, you know, I, I'm not, you know, I, maybe these accessories will be crossed over with elites, I don't think, you know, all of them will be, like, Bray Wyatt's top hat, you know, you can put the top hat onto other figures like this, so you could do that, but I don't think this is gonna go on an elite, I think it'll probably swallow it, but hat's pretty cool there, and that, uh, pretty much wraps up our Ric Flair figure, I think, if I had to rank the three that we have here, I know that a lot of people hate the Bray Wyatt, like, the Bray Wyatt has a very weird gear, but he has a lot going on, man, he's got, like, his, his top hat, he's got his cloth and stuff, he's got his bow tie i know he never really wore this for real but the figure is still sick as hell i love all the tattoos that's kind of what i'm you know what i'm what i'm playing with there that's that's probably the sickest part if i were to make myself in this style i'd probably get the bray wyatt arms maybe undertaker arms i guess once we get the undertaker but for now this is the arms that i'd probably use because you know i got i got tatted up arms so that's pretty cool right there but i i love these figures man these are sick as doo doo anyways man that's pretty much going to wrap up this three in one review on the wwe superstar series one rick flair honky tonk man and Bray Wyatt. Again, this isn't the full set. We're missing Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I gotta find that figure. I don't know when I will. I think some people have gotten their pre-orders of it, but I don't know if it's hit retail just yet. We will find it at retail, though. I guarantee it, and I will do a review on it. I gotta do it. I gotta find the figure. I gotta find a men-on-card set. Hopefully, I can find some unpunched men on card in defender figures i mean i'm not gonna find the defender i gotta buy the defenders but you guys get the point so what we got here man i love these figures again i don't know if you can get these at ringside collectibles i feel like you can i feel like that is a thing so go over there and use code md toys anyway even if they don't have them i'm pretty sure they do though maybe not i don't remember go over there and buy other things though featuring go over there and buy other things you know buy other wrestling figures aew wwe elites unrivaled all the good stuff man go over there get the ringside exclusives use code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent man but i'm getting out of here i enjoy these figures a lot they're very fun to pose around i'm just running out of room man so i i gotta i gotta make some room clear out some stuff definitely to make room for these guys but i love it i'm on board with this line i think they're awesome i think you get plenty of things going on with it whether men on card or loose and also rick flair comes with sunglasses i was unaware of so these are just three poses i whipped together really quick there's plenty more poses you could do but these are pretty cool man these are awesome and i enjoy them anyways man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line like uh i don't, I don't know i guess walmart when they be pu putting punched holes in my damn packaging and then ruining the packaging so i can't you know so i don't even buy it what is that you cross the line i've been